Kuzangpula, welcome to Bhutan e-learning program. I'm Vicky and this is a lesson for Key Stage 5, classes 11 and 12. For today, you are going to study about electrophilic substitution reaction in aromatic compound. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to define electrophilic substitution reaction you should be able to explain why aromatic compounds undergo electrophilic substitution reaction and then explain the reaction mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction. What is aromatic compound? Aromatic compounds are also known as arenes or sometimes they are known as aromatics. What is so special about aromatic compound? Aromatic compounds have alternating double bonds. They have six carbons and they have alternating double bonds. Let's have a look at the aromatic compound that is given here. So this aromatic compound is known as chlorobenzene. But this chlorobenzene doesn't occur naturally in the environment. You, ca you can't find this chlorobenzene in the environment naturally. However, in the past, this chlorobenzene was used to produce phenol that we also use today as disinfectant. And it was also used to prepare dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane which is uh, commonly known to people as DDT. It was used as pesticides. It was used to combat, uh, combat malaria. Today, chlorobenzene is used to prepare a diisocyanate. It is also used as a solvent for formulation of pesticides. It is used for preparation of nitrochlorobenzene and then it is used for decreasing automobile parts. We know that chlorobenzene doesn't occur naturally in the environment. However, it is being used in our day-to-day -day life. How is this chlorobenzene produced or how is this chlorobenzene prepared? This chlorobenzene can be prepared from benzene by a chemical reaction known as electrophilic substitution reaction. Electrophilic substitution reaction. So please focus on the word electrophilic. Now, what is electrophilic substitution reaction? If you are provided with an aromatic compound and this aromatic compound is reacted with an electrophile, it is reacted with an electrophile, this electrophile is going to displace the hydrogen that is, play, that is in the benzene ring and form a new compound, which is substituted aromatic compound. Now, what is electrophile? Because we have seen in our earlier slide that there was a use of an electrophile. What is this electrophile? This electrophile, before we really move on to the definition of electrophile, what do we call people who love technology? What do we call them? We call them technophiles. So now what do we call chemical species that loves electron, that really, really loves electron. We call them electrophiles. Okay, now you have, you have seen the general equation for chemical, uh, electrophilic substitution reaction. Based on that general chemical equation, you can try to define electrophilic substitution reaction. So you can have your own definition. Let me read out the definition uh, from my side here. So it is a chemical reaction where a group of uh, atoms or, uh, or an atom is being displaced by an electrophile. It is a chemical reaction in which an atom or a group of an atom is being displaced by an electrophile.
why this benzene or aromatic compounds undergo electrophilic substitution reaction let's have a look at two reactions here the first reaction is a reaction for cyclohexene when this cyclohexene is reacted with bromine it easily undergo electrophilic addition reaction electrophilic addition reaction now if the same reaction is being performed for benzene this benzene it though it contains uh, pi electrons it doesn't undergo electrophilic addition reaction it will not undergo electrophilic addition reaction because it is unusually stable it is unusually stable due to presence of the due to delocalization of electrons the electrons are always continuously moving all around the carbon that is present in the benzene this result in a development of unusual stability in the structure of benzene now if it doesn't undergo electrophilic addition reaction then why it is undergoing electrophilic substitution reaction in order to understand this let's have a look at the structure of benzene in benzene there are six carbons these six carbons are all sp2 hybridized and it has three sigma bonds two with the adjacent carbons and one with the hydrogen present there and still it still have one p orbital which remain unhybridized this p orbital is going to overlap side wise to the carbon that is present on its either sides so because of this side wise overlapping there will be formation of two sets of pi electrons one above the plane of carbon and one below the plane of carbon and you already know in benzene electrons are always moving around so because of this one because of delocalization of electrons there is a formation of continuous electron cloud continuous pi electron cloud one is above the plane of carbon and one is below the plane of carbon this structure shows that there is higher electron density in benzene ring so because of this one because of higher electron density in benzene ring benzene is susceptible to electrophilic uh, substitution reaction the higher electron density can easily be attacked by the electrophile which loves electron now let's have a look at mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction there are three mechanisms involved the first one is generation of electrophile second one is formation of carbocation and the third one and the last one is a uh, removal of proton from the carbocation so we are going to look at the steps one by one with an example okay so we are going to look at substitution reaction of benzene so the first uh, substitution reaction that benzene undergoes is halogenation so in this reaction benzene is going to react with chlorine in presence of a lewis acid known as ferric chloride this is going to form a product which is known as chlorobenzene with production of hydrochloric acid so this is the overall reaction for formation of chlorobenzene from benzene by electrophilic substitution reaction now let's have a look at these reaction step by step and you know we have to follow three steps the step number 1 generation of electrophile so electrophile will be generated from chlorine in presence of lewis acid ferric chloride ferric chloride is a uh, lewis acid so it's going to attract electron the electron towards itself so thereby it is going to form 
two uh, ions of chlorine, positive and negative, cation and anion. Step number two, formation of carbocation. This carbocation is also known as carbonium ion. Now the benzene ring, it has pi electrons present in it. So the electrophile produced is going to attack the pi electron from the benzene ring. In this structure, it is going to attack the pi electrons of carbon number two. This result in the formation of carbocation where the positive charge is developed at carbon number 2. Chlorine itself, the chlorine ion itself is going to form a new bond and is going to get attached to carbon number 1. Then what happened here is this carbocation formed is moderately stable. This is because the carbon cation can give resonating structure because in aromatic compound in benzene the electrons are always moving around so the resonating structure of the carbocation can be seen here the pi electron between carbon number three and four is going to don shift towards uh, between carbon number two and three the carbon, the pi electron between carbon number three and four is going to shift to a uh, shift to uh, carbon between carbon number two and three. So what happens here is the positive charge will be developed at carbon number four, and the new pi bond will be formed between carbon number two and three. Then the third resonating structure, how is it formed? So a carbon a positive charge is being formed at carbon number 4. So pi electron between carbon number uh, 5 and 6 is going to shift between carbon number 5 and 4. There a new pi bond is formed between carbon number 4 and 5 and a new and a positive charge is going to develop at carbon number 6. So these are the resonating structures of carbocation. Okay, step number 3 is removal of proton from the benzene ring. The base form during generation of electrophile which was Cl- is going to attack the proton that is present in the benzene ring. So it's going to uh, extract the proton from the benzene ring. In doing so, the bond will be broken and the electron present will be moved towards the benzene ring. This will lead to formation of a new substance and re restoration of aromacity. The new substance formed is chlorobenzene with production of hydrochloric acid. Now, I am going to give you a question here. Please explore and try to find how you can make the electrophile stronger. So, you can explore on it. And the second question, try to describe the electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism in the reaction that is being provided to you. Here you can see benzene, it's going to react with bromine in presence of Lewis acid and it's going to form bromobenzene with release of hydrogen bromide. So how does this reaction show following the reaction mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction? Okay, now let's have a look at second type of electrophilic substitution reaction for benzene. It is Fiddelkraft's alkylation. So this is the general equation here. Benzene is going to react with methyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride and then it's going to form methyl benzene with release of hydrochloric acid again. Okay, the first step, generation of electrophile. So for this one, I want you to take some time and then try to generate the electrophile. Please check your answer with mine. So the electrophiles are generated. There is an electrophile as well as the base. Now we are going to look at the formation of carbocation. 
so i'm going to show you the formation of carbocation and then you have to write down the resonating structure of this carbocation formed so unlike the previous example here the electrophile will be uh, extracting the electron from carbon number 1 instead of carbon number 2 so it's going to form a carbocation and now i will just show you one structure of carbocation here then you try to write down the resonating structure of this carbocation okay so again i'm going to show you all the resonating structures of the carbocation please have a look and check so here you have to really know how the electrons are being delocalized here Okay, the third step is extra, uh, removal of electron uh, proton from the benzene ring by the base present. So again, just like uh, the examples that I've given before, the base present, which is chloride ion, is going to extract the proton, which is hydrogen, from the benzene ring. The bond between proton and benzene is, is going to break. The electron will be donated to the benzene ring. The uh, this leads to formation of a new compound and then there will be production of hydrochloric acid again okay again try it yourself then so name the product formed from this reaction and then describe the reaction mechanism in three steps so you can try it later okay now let's have a look at effects of substitutes on electrophilic substitution reaction till now what you have seen is a reaction for benzene only now what if you are introduced to aromatic compounds like toluene with a substituent methyl present what if you are introduced to phenol with the substituent oh group present and what if you are present uh, introduced to chlorobenzene? What will happen to the reactivity of electrophilic substitution reaction? So the group that is already present in the uh, on the aromatic compound will determine the reactivity of that particular compound for electrophilic substitution reaction in this case. So is it going to make the favor the electrophilic substitu substitution reaction or it is going to hinder the electrophilic substitution reaction? So it all depends on the tendency of the group present. Is it going to release the electron towards the benzene ring or is it going to withdraw the electron from the benzene ring? So now what you have to know here is if the group present already present on the benzene ring donates the electrode towards the benzene ring then it will activate the benzene ring by increasing its electron density. So it's going to increase the electron density. Now on the other hand if an electron withdrawing group is present what you have to know is it is going to decrease the electron density thereby deactivating the benzene ring. Okay, so I'm giving you a list, a uh, few list of uh, electron donating group and electron withdrawing group. So you can explore more, no, more on it and add to the list already provided. Again, I have a question for you. If you are asked to react this, uh, if you are asked to, and, uh, if you are asked to use this aromatic compound and make it undergo electrophilic substitution reaction, will the reaction be possible or not? And what is the reason behind it? Okay, so we have seen that uh, the group already present on the aromatic compound determines the reactivity of that particular compound. Now let's see. 
to another effect of it, effect of it. So the group already present will also determine the orientation of the incoming group, incoming electrophile. Will it be play, uh, directed towards ortho or will it be directed towards meta or para? So what is this ortho, what is this para and what is this meta? Okay, so let's have a look at this chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene is placed at carbon number 1. And the position of carbon right next to this chlorine can be called as ortho. Again, the carbon which is just opposite to ortho, carbon number 2, is again called as ortho. Then carbon right next to ortho is known as meta. Opposite, the carbon which is opposite to meta is again called as meta. And the carbon which is just opposite to the substituent, it is called as para. Now what you have to know is, does this position remain fixed always? It all depends on the position of the substituent present. The substituent, here we can see that chlorine is placed in carbon number 2. So the group which is just, uh, carbon which is just placed to carbon number 2 is called as ortho. Carbon which is right next to ortho, known as meta. And carbon which is placed just opposite to the substituent is called as para. If there is an electron donating group already present on the aromatic compound, where will the incoming electrophile be placed? It will be placed at ortho para position. On the other hand, if there is an electron withdrawing group already present on the aromatic compound, the incoming electrophile will be placed at meta position. Okay, now what you can do is you can label the position of the carbon for the uh, following compound. Okay, now it's again a very important thing. You have to understand why some substituents are orthopara directing and why some are meta directing. Let's have a look at the first one, why some substituents are auto-para directing. So this is usually because the, so the already group present on the benzene ring will push its electron towards the benzene ring. So it's going to, what is going to happen is, it is going to increase the electron density at ortho and para position. That's why the incoming electrophile is placed at ortho and para position. Now, how does this happen? So, we are going to uh, have a look at an example here. So, you, in the structure given, the structure given is a phenol. This phenol, the O in phenol has two lone pair of electrons. So, it is an electron donating group. So, it's going to donate its electron to the benzene ring. So, how is it done? The lone pair of electron will be moved and it is going to form a double bond with the benzene ring. Now, the problem here is one carbon cannot have five bonds. So what you have to do next is move the electron that move the pi electron that is present between carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 towards carbon number 2. So when you move the electron towards carbon number 2 there is going to be development of negative charge. Carbon number 2 will be developing a negative charge. Now the incoming electrophile where will it, where will it attack? Electrophile is electron loving. Obviously, it is going to attack at ortho position. Then, for example, this incoming electrophile is busy. He doesn't want to attack carbon number 2. So, what happens is there will be resonating structures. Now, the negative charge is going to shift, uh, shift its electron 
between carbon number two and carbon number three there will be formation of a pi bond between carbon number two and carbon number three and then the pi bond already present is going to shift its electron and then there will be formation of negative charge at carbon number four then again the resonating structure there will be again delocalization of electrons and finally again there will be formation of a negative charge at carbon number six now if we name these positions where the negative charge charges are being developed we can clearly see that it is being developed at ortho position and then para position so obviously the incoming electrophile which loves electron will be attacking ortho positions or para positions now why some substituents are matter directing this is because uh, when electron withdrawing group is being attached is already attached to the aromatic compound it is going to pull the electrons towards itself this is going to decrease the electron density at ortho and para position so we are again going to look uh, have a look at an example here so nitrobenzene is given to you so this is the structure of nitrobenzene so nitro group present there it is electron withdrawing so it's going to withdraw the electrons towards itself thereby a positive charge will be developed at carbon number uh, carbon number two then to stabilize this carbocation a pi electron is going to move and then as a result there will be formation of a positive charge again at carbon number four now in order to stabilize this carbon number four the pi electron is uh, the pi electron will be moved towards it or shifted towards it, that position and carbon number six will be developing positive charge so you can clearly see that ortho and para positions are deficient of electrons so will it will it allow the electrophile to get attached to it no because it is already short of electron so the only possible position for electrophile to get attached is meta position so meta position has comparatively higher electron density compared to ortho and para okay now we are going to look at the electrophilic substitution reaction of phenol so this is the reactant provided to you you already know when an electron a uh, donating group is present where will the substituent be placed so you can write down the product formed and then check your answer with the one provided to you so you can clearly see that the position of the incoming group are placed at ortho and para so electrophilic substitution reaction of phenol we are going to have a look at this one the first one is halogenation so you already know when electro donating group is already present on an aromatic compound where will the incoming electrophile be placed it will be placed at ortho and para position okay again i have a question for you try it yourself you can copy the question quick check for today's lesson so number one benzene or aromatic compound it undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction due to higher electron density present number two electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism follows three steps you already know first one is generation of electrophile second one is generation of carbocation and third one is extraction of proton from the carbocation and the last one the already substituted aromatic compound the, uh, the substituent already present for aromatic compound determines the reactivity of the compound as well as the position of the incoming group Thank you for attending my lesson today and I will see you in my next lesson. Kadinchela.